Kiri. All right, well today we are going to do another solar oven cooking and uh, I'm up on this high mountaintop with nothing that will interfere. It's a little hazier, much hazier actually than it was yesterday. Um, but we're still drawing some good power off the sun and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook up a chili here. So um, of course I do like doing things with completely raw ingredients when I can, however, uh, the one change we, we make with my chili recipe is I'm using tomato sauce. So let's get the cans of tomato sauce and I use it uh, for two recipes back to back. I did a, a um, chicken curry um, yesterday, so I have half of the can left here. So we're going to use this half of the can of tomato sauce. And um, we're going to use this half of the can of tomato sauce. Uh, as our base, we're going to use a little bit of water from my faucet here, however much I need. And I did the beans actually in the solar oven yesterday, and they actually got completely soft. I basically filled this container up uh, with water, set it in the solar oven while those were cooking yesterday, and they are completely soft. I didn't need to boil them anymore. Um, I just need to drain them off and then uh, let them soak in some more water. We're going to add some chili powder. Um, and my chili, I like to use the chipotle chili powder. I'm going to use a 50-50 mix, maybe two-thirds, one-third of regular chili powder as well because I have some and I don't otherwise use regular chili powder. Uh, do some extra salt and pepper, maybe some seasoned salt, garlic, and onion. Now, I also like to have pepper, uh, like a green pepper or something for my chili. I don't have one, but I'm not going to let that stop me. And I don't have any ground beef, so we're going to use this heavily marbled chicken here and if I don't think there's enough fat on the chicken we're going to add a little bit of coconut oil but I think that's probably going to be enough. So simply take all this stuff mix it into this nice container and set it in that solar oven out there for several hours nice and easy. Of course we're going to come back and do a cornbread later as well. All right so we have everything here put together and uh, so it's just uh, I added I don't know uh, maybe about quarter cup to half a cup of water just enough to bring up enough moisture and liquid there uh, but that looks like a, a good consistency um, and in my experience chili will actually thin out a little bit if you want it thicker you can add a little flour or something I don't care to do anything like that uh, but we are all good so now we're just going to set this over here now, of course, I use the black containers with the clear top sealable lids. This is going to lock in all the moisture. The black is going to absorb a lot more heat. So I find that these work really well for the solar oven. So I set the solar oven out here a little bit ago. Now, uh, somebody had mentioned in the last video I did with the solar oven to, you know, probably put the zipper on the bottom instead of on the top and see if that helps. So I did that yesterday as well. And uh, I don't know if that specifically caused any difference but I know that the solar oven inside was sustaining 180 degrees Fahrenheit pretty much all day, which is going to be certainly enough. In fact, my, my curry, I was anticipating it taking, you know, four or six hours to cook and it was at proper healthy temp in only an hour and a half to two hours. So chili though, I usually keep cooking all day anyway. So it's, um, it's only 1030, 1045 right now. Uh, and so, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave that in there as long as I can and let's see so already this is still rising it says it's over a hundred still rising but of course I just chopped, dropped it in there so we'll come back to that in a bit and I'll, I'll actually do the um, cornbread a little later all right it is time for the cornbread so this is a modified recipe I made for the van which actually the first time I did this I actually cooked it up in a pan but we're going to do it in the solar oven and hopefully it doesn't uh, build too much moisture up in the solar oven we'll see because i'm not sure if i'm going to cover this or not um i think that we're going to put it in this pan here now this is going to come very small to the it's not going to be like a lot in here and we are leaving out the egg out of what you would normally put in which adds a little bit of fluffiness but it's going to give us a kind of like a good corn based flatbread type so the recipe I modified here is going to be a quarter cup flour, a quarter cup cornmeal, uh, two teaspoons of sugar, 
a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon baking powder. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of milk, which I use with powdered milk and water. So I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of powdered milk to three tablespoons of water. And we'll do, um, uh, we'll do two tablespoons of coconut oil. So uh, there is all of the ingredients we have and we're gonna mix all that together next. All right, so here it is. It's actually a very thin layer, so I'm not expecting a super thick cornbread here, but that's okay. I don't really need it to be thick. And uh, that is uh, sufficient actually for one serving size, being as how thin it is. So we're gonna set that in the oven and see how the oven's doing right now. All right, so the thermometer's actually reading about 160 right now. And uh, I can actually already just visibly see the chicken and the chili is already starting to, to turn, so I have great confidence that this is going to work in the end so let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, we'll uh, put this guy in The cornbread already finished up. It did not take long at all. It's actually a really good thickness. I wish it would be a little bit thicker. So I think I, what I might do is I might look for another uh, tin pan that I can buy that's much smaller in size, better for uh, just getting it in a little bit of height. But um, I'm gonna keep the chili in there for several more hours. And then I actually, I am testing a brownie recipe. So I threw that in there now. So hopefully that'll cook up also. I'm going to take these out now and I'm going to cover it up uh, just so it's kind of stays fresh. But I'm worried if I keep it in there too much longer, it's just going to dry out. And right now it's actually really good and really moist. But I'm going to cover up and, you know, hide it so I don't eat it until dinner. I've run out of sunlight for the day. Right now the chili is still holding over 160 and it was easily over 180 most of the day. We also got some brownies. I don't know if those completely set up yet. But we're gonna go ahead and let them cool like that. And um, we'll talk about those on another video. But it looks as though the chicken chili is a success as long as we have good clear view of the sky all day. And uh, as noted, um, it's a little less hazy now than it was. Um, and uh, when it's hazy, it's not gonna work as well. I know it's the same, a little bit less power on the solar today, but still enough but anyway worked great